Day three has begun. Starting strong. Baby Brown and Noel in the parking lot of McDonald's. Yeah, dude. All right, guys, we're at our first spot for the day. Gonna be looking for some aquatic salamanders, but I spotted this guy hanging out over here. A little brown water snake buddy, just chilling under this bridge. Just hoping to see a rat snake or something under here, but that'll do. Pretty cool. This guy's just super content to hang out right there and let us look at him. Pretty neat, first snake of the day. Friendly Nerodia. I don't know what's the deal with Nerodia in Florida this weekend being bros, but. Anyways, gonna leave that guy. Yeah. All right guys, so today we're starting off the morning getting down and dirty, trying to find dwarf sirens is what we're hoping to see here. But any sort of aquatic salamander would be cool. Uh, any sort of snake that we can turn up in this area would be cool too. But uh, basically we're gonna get after it and uh, I'm gonna try to keep my phone clean. And uh, I will report back when we, we get a net something interesting in our net. All right, guys, just going through this muck here. Got a couple little fish and stuff, and Jake spotted this guy. A little uh, stink pot, common musk turtle. And he is not too happy that he's been captured. None but too happy. First turtle I think we've gotten our hands on this whole trip, so is that one of the little bitey boys? Be, yeah. It is a bitey it is. boy. It's him right there. See, that was a little jerk. One, this one here, too? Yep. Yep, there you go. This guy as well, young one, there's a, yep, there's a buddy boy. You gotta watch out for these water bugs when you're digging through this stuff, they will light you up. Anyways, little stink pot. Okay, so turns out there were two stink <laughs> pots in that dip net. Got a second one right here. It's not a cat. This guy is not happy we captured him. Loading mat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Getting in that. This shit you'll get your striped crayfish into. And swamp snakes, like red belly swamps. It'd be hard actually getting that up. It will be. I'm just gonna hopefully something's gonna come up the bottom. Like just shake yeah. it. It'll come down, swim downward. I do have a dredger car, I could bring this out. Doesn't work at all. Oh, there's a ton of just fish. flying fish in there. That was a newt. Is there, have you got up on it still newt? I uh, have, but I'm always stoked to see another one. There you go. That's, here you go, here you go. I don't know if I can find him, hang on a sec. I'm trying to make sure there's no catfish in here first. There's all sorts of stuff in there, dude. Yes, there's the newt. There you go. Nice, oh! Well, there was a newt. There <laughs> we go, it's a male. Very nice, Peninsula newt. I will photograph him, actually. That's pretty cool. Definitely. Maybe some more beans. All right, guys, this nice load of muck Jake just pulled up. What is that trash? We had our lifer dwarf siren right there. This guy is a siren. Oh, my That's a leech in our mind, sorry. And uh, he's in there with that nude for now. We're gonna get some photos of both these guys and let him go. Go ahead. All right, here's another look at the dwarf siren we found earlier. We've got him in an aquarium here for photos and video. But you can see this guy definitely has a little more detail on him than you could see when he was outside of the water, you can see his little fluffy gills, cute little eyeballs, and stripes. All right, guys, we got the newt in the aquarium too, so you can see him a little better. Really cool looking animal, different from the ones we have up north for sure. Food right there. All right, guys, next snake of the day. Oh, he's gay. Oh my, he's Snapping. not happy. Yeah, he's got his mouth open. Next snake of the day, this is a nice little adult southern ringneck. Got some good color on him for sure. All right, guys, trying one more little dip netting spot before we move on to reptilian targets for the rest of the day. This one is looking the best yet, potentially, though. Jake's got a nice scoop full there. Scooping. Oh. Off to a great start, shrimp. Shrimp and more shrimp. Some shrimp. There's a, some sort of fish-like thing. I don't know why I didn't bring my hand right. Twitching guy right here? Yeah. What is that? No, oh, it's a shrimp. Guys, if you want to see some Jeeps, come to come to Florida. We they, got them. They've got the Jeeps down here, boys. The Jeeps. Jeep gang. All right, guys, we are on to the next foray. 
here in Central Florida, hoping to see pygmy rattlesnakes, uh, scarlet kings, anything we can really turn up here, but it's supposed to be a pretty snaky spot under all these palm trees. So I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. I'm quite fond of this weather. Yeah, this feels <laughs> I'm, great. I'm quite fond of it. All right, guys. <laughs> quite fond, fond of it. Of it. <laughs> quite fond of this weather. All right, guys, Jake flipped our first snake at this spot, a beautiful little pine wood snake. Hell yeah. Nice. This is the uh, like the third <laughs> one of these I've ever seen, so. I'll leave that there. You're covered in birds. <laughs> he stinks. <laughs> you have him on your hat, dude. <laughs> so? I'm just like bringing him out for just taking walking. nature with you. Yeah. Anyways, pine wood snake, pretty cool. Nope, We're gonna this photograph again. this guy and let him go. Nope. So pine wood snakes are interesting because they are the northernmost representative of a pretty diverse genus down in South and Central America, the Rodinia litter snakes. So mildly venomous, can't hurt people really. Uh, some of the southern ones can light you up though, can't they? They can, yeah. All right, guys, next snake of the day is pooping all over me. Oh, and biting my camera, but another ribbon snake. We've seen a couple of these guys this trip, so we're just gonna let him go and keep flipping. Leopard frog. Nice, dude. Oh, he's going. Go oh, right into the palm frond. <laughs> all right, anyways, goodbye, ribbon snake. The baby crawling up on it right there. We found the gators, everyone. The big mama, baby on top, back there, one crawling up in the front. Uh, one Bunch over to the right there. Little baby ones like the ones we saw last night. Be cool. Still no more snakes though. Why would we ever find snakes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. It took us basically the better part of the last three hours to find what we were looking for. And we still haven't found what we really came here for, a pygmy rattlesnake, but that's even better, <laughs> even harder to find. Scarlet king snake, little juvenile, found by the man himself, Ben. Bon. And uh, KJ bon. here <laughs> with the Bon, with the <laughs> double team. Beautiful little scarlet king and the first lamp of 2020. Here you go. He grumpy. Oh, he, he, he grumpy. He's gonna get you. You're gonna get him venom. He's chasing you, dude. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so many. <laughs> did you bring some for the whole class? I did. Look at that meal. A little bit of salt. I'm a sub, I'm chick <laughs> All right, little buddy, stay safe out there. Well, we got our Scarlet King snake, so hopefully we can get a pygmy here too. That's another thing we were hoping to see in this area, but have not turned one up yet. We we're supposed to be like able to be rolling in pygmies and maybe if we're lucky see a scarlet king so that's what we were an anticipating it was going to be like so they're pretty big they really aren't that big i actually feel like i'm in like costa rica or something the right the size now. of those things is Notable. remarkable <laughs> yeah quite jurassic and park so away. i remarked upon it <laughs> so I remarked on it. still no pygmies so i don't think they're real <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this might be our last snake of the day, but I just found this little pine wood snake, or not a little one, way bigger than the last one, under a piece of pine bark. Beautiful little fossorial subtropical snake. And uh, this guy's uh, probably this about as big as they get, when you say? That's probably maxed out. About as big as they get. Big boy. Yeah. Big boy. Anyways, we're going to put him back and keep on hiking the rest of the way back to the car. All right, guys, we're out here walking around a little bit more by Jake's place and stumbled across a cute little eastern spadefoot toad. Pretty cool, first one we've seen on this trip, but I figured I'd give you guys a quick look at this little guy. He is indeed little, and we're just going to leave him right here. That's what I thought these were. They are around here. Little. Cool, that's kind of neat. We harped. I couldn't tell which There's a little Nerodia right here. <laughs> Pretty little guy, yet again. Just kind of completely chill to our presence like the other ones we saw. I guess that was yesterday. Hey, buddy. Band of water snake. First night, first snake we've shined tonight. Oh, don't there. worry. We can get him. Oh, yeah? Uh, this is, this is good. He's moving already. Oh, he's already here. He sets his RP. Cottonmouth right here. First one of these we've seen this whole trip. Let's see if we can get a better look at him. Dig that right there. All right, yeah. guys, here's another look at this Florida cottonmouth we found. These guys are different from the ones we have up north, and uh, 
are recognized as a different subspecies or full species now actually so pretty cool <laughs> so these are a species that has a notorious reputation that's completely undeserved as you can see i'm like a foot from this snake and he's completely indifferent really to me doesn't even seem to be outwardly scared of us he's just trying to crawl away slowly every once in a while but right now he's cooled up nicely so we're gonna take some quick photos of this guy and let him go um keep looking around the vicinity of this pond and see what else we can turn up we've gotten a nerodia and this guy so far so not too bad all right guys we're back at jake's place getting ready to uh crash for the night and right here what might be our last turn for the day sleeping green and all that's now awake because I shined a bright light on it. So I'm going to not do that. 